So you wanna learn your tricking aerial so that you can use it in combos, change it into a different aerial variation, maybe you're just trying to clean it up, or you wanna use it as a tool to get something else. Whatever your goals are, this is one possible way that you can learn your aerial. So this method is for those of you who come from free running and have never touched an aerial or a butterfly kick in their lives, but you do know a frisbee. And it's a lot easier than you would think. Basically, you're just unwinding your frisbee over time. So warm up your frisbee, do your tucks, do it however you want. Just make sure that it's really powerful and you're going super fast because that's really important. Once you're warmed up in that motion and you're kicking really hard and you're doing your tuck and everything, uh, then you want to make sure that you're isolating and landing only on your right leg when you come down. Obviously, I'm teaching this to my left side. I'm a left side twister. Just in case for some reason you land this like on both legs at the same time. I'd recommend maybe doing this on a line like I am in the video because it helps you understand like the next steps and how your momentum should be going so essentially what you want to do is you want to do your spin step or just step into it standing like however you normally do it and then you want to look at a line or like know that you are going in a straight line when you're doing it if you're in grass or something but essentially what you want to focus on is trying to make a like 180 degree motion so wherever your left foot takes off you want to make sure that your right foot lands facing 180 degrees uh, from that position. Basically, you're trying to square your hips backwards to your dom or direction of momentum. This could take time, but just make sure that you are trying to square your hips over and over again, and you will naturally start to feel the aerial motion. From there, it's just as easy as starting to straighten your legs more and more. Do your frisbee super aggressive, like you're going for maximum height, and then just straighten your legs. When you normally kick for your frisbee, if you're doing it hard, then your leg will be relatively straight, so you just kick straight and you keep it straight. Make sure your hips do that 180 and then you kick straight down and pull your head up and away rather than tucking and pulling your head up at the same time. Add more power to the setup, elongate your torso, kick really hard, straighten your legs, and then hopefully that got you your aerial. What are the pros and cons of learning this way? So the first pro is that uh, it's super easy to learn your Frisbee. So even if you don't have a Frisbee yet, you can just do this like tiny little Frisbee motion, start to do it over the top more. And even if you're not flexible, it's kind of like a motion that's not hard to do for most human beings. So you can go from zero to Frisbee to aerial in a relatively short period of time, as long as you're physically capable of doing it really powerfully. Another pro is simply you don't have to learn any other progressions, you don't have to learn butterfly kick or anything else like that. Another pro of this one and the butterfly kick method and a different method is that you don't need any equipment, you just need like a solid surface. The major con of this to me is that it adds a ton of twisting momentum. So even in my best example on the Frisbee method, you can see that my direction of momentum kind of travels a little bit or I'm not continuing straight in my direction of momentum. So I like step for my aerial and then my head kind of goes backwards because it's kind of used to that Frisbee, which then dictates where I come down with my right leg, if that makes sense. Look close at the line and you'll see that I deviate from the line a little bit. If uh, it was a correct, perfect aerial, then I would stay on the line, but it's not that big a deal. It ain't that deep. The other con is that it's kind of awkward to go from tucking for momentum to being open for momentum. So just make sure that you're using your core a lot and you're really like driving those legs over with speed and it won't be that hard, but that is a con is that it's awkward at first. So hopefully that helped you get or improve your aerial. If it did, please leave a like on the video to support this video. And if you wanna support me further, please check the links in the description and check out my Patreon. If it didn't help you, I have a link to a playlist for all the different methods I have for an aerial. So hopefully one of them will help you. But either way, until next time, please stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you guys later.